we're trying to get exposure to the artists uh, that have moved northeast from the warehouse district. I had a space downtown and uh, the rents were pretty high and it was, it was just availability and ec economy that brought me over here. It was absolutely amazing how many artists were working in this particular neighborhood and, and we suggested the potential of a uh, studio gallery tour and everyone was very excited about it and we made contact with uh, uh, our councilman uh, of the first district Walt Dietzig and I approached him to ask him about it. David Felker uh, who's the organizer came to see me in uh, January with the idea and I thought it was a good idea. I introduced him to the Arts Commission and my part in this is to raise the money and make sure that uh, they had enough funds to accomplish it. And we did that through various individuals, corporation, banks, and the foundations in Minneapolis. And this is uh, the Art of World, 96. And it has become one of the most successful things that's happened in several years in the, in the visual arts, I believe. And this is going to be an annual event. The Art of World is about artists in Northeast Minneapolis. It's a place that's full of a lot of artists. Not many people know about them or have seen them, but they work in a variety of warehouses, over 21 on this tour. Uh, Art of World seems to be all about getting uh, people involved in the Northeast Minneapolis art scene, which apparently a lot of people weren't aware there really was an art scene in Northeast Minneapolis. I think it's a wonderful opportunity for for us as artists to let people know that we're here, to let people know what we do, um, to really meet people. And I think it's a good opportunity for um, people in Northeast Minneapolis to find out what's happening right in their midst. You're at the Icebox Gallery, the oldest gallery in Northeast Minneapolis. We've been here since 1988. It's alive and dynamic and diverse and full of a lot of really creative people. Rumor has it a lot of us artists hang out here in Northeast. So we're guilty <laughs> as charged. <laughs> well, it's day three in Art of World, and we're at Dog in the Chair Designs. Zoe is the president. She's the main dog. So I paint furniture and um, do lampshades out of family photographs. I was on the planning committee and helped put together the banners that are hanging outside of each building. It's uh, just magnificent to see all of the artists and all of the uh, uh, business community and, and the community as uh, the public and so forth. The enthusiasm that we're experiencing with the people coming into the, the galleries, they're just elated with what they're finding and what they're seeing in the experience of Art of World. We're at the Mighty Fine Coffee House and Art Gallery. What kind of place is Mighty Fine? Mighty Fine is a very fine place. <laughs> it encompasses a lot of work. Um, sculpture, drawings, paintings, dance, poetry, metal work. Um, the James Page Brewery over on Quincy Street is even doing the art of beer. <laughs> I do multi-layer textural abstracts. You want to take a look? And this piece demonstrates the aspect of spring coming forth, and it's named the Maiden's Garden because of the sense of innocence of being a maiden. There, there's a lot of things that uh, artists have done through the centuries with the, uh, to preserve the uh, culture and the uh, ethnicity of uh, different uh, nationalities. This is an ethnic community. What they've done here is uh, establish themselves, be taken in by the community. So often as an artist, one is really isolated and because you're working in your own space and you're very focused on what it is that you're doing. What I have found for me professionally is that the California building is really providing a real sense of openness and community. And there are a number of artists that I speak with um, in their studio or in my studio. We discuss work, we discuss technical problems. And it's just a logical place to be. There's so many other artists in the area. A lot of happy people coming through. It's, it's been fun. A lot of artists I know working in the neighborhood, so it's a good place for me to be. A lot of people didn't realize that there was much of an art community in, in Northeast Minneapolis. And um, I think uh, now everyone knows. Looks like it's gonna, gonna continue. <laughs>